So today I just thought I'd do a part two on my Victron solar energy install. Um, we can start up at the top. So here we are on the roof of the van, my custom rack from Metro Machine. They did a pretty nice job of this. And we've got a surf rack up here, a full panel. And I got my lights, light bars on the front and back. So this is where all my solar comes in. I didn't use the connectors. I just went in and wired straight through for everything there. I found them quite bulky. And then I came along and ran them down beside the fan there. Kept it nice and neat. So on the ProMaster on the rear bumper, there's a nice spot uh, you can get through to put a plug. So this is my plug-in for my inverter charger. And I just plug that into there. So here I have two 40 amp breakers on a small panel. Uh, one is for the plug I just plugged in. It comes into the in, so it's protected from anything on the outside. From there it goes directly down to my Victron Energy Multi Plus 3000. 3000 watt inverter and it'll take the 120 volt exterior power from your house or garage and it runs it back up into the upper 40 amp breaker that then runs out to the two at this point and probably three 120 volt plug-ins. So this one's down at the back and I can sort of use it for running equipment um, out the back of the van. I'm also going to have one on the far side of the kitchen there. You can see where it goes through and hangs out the back and it'll be on the side wall there. And there's one that's over there behind the window and it's going to come through into a drawer in the middle of my cabinets that's going to run all my electronics um, so I can charge my iPad, my phone and, and uh, computer uh, you know overnight and keep them in a drawer. So anyway that's where my AC comes in. My solar panel is wired. It comes through a breaker that's in there. You can see I wired panel and it says right on it panel it's 40 amp and it runs into my solar controller MPPT 100 and that then goes directly into my positive and negative here and here bus bars that then run directly into the lithium batteries I have the pylon tech lithium batteries I'm actually on charge from the outside. Um, sitting at about 50% right now. Um, I had a few days when it was in the shop or in my in my garage, so I didn't uh, get any charge from solar. But I've just been running my refrigerator, and I've also been running it on inverter just to sort of see um, what the sustainability is. At this point, I haven't got my Cerbex or my touchscreen up and running. So I'm just using the Bluetooth off my iPad. You can see I'm charging right now at 43% total power. If I go to my solar, smart solar, I've got uh, just 92 watts coming into it at this time. The panel's dirty. We don't have full sunshine at this time, but it is, it is helping out with the charge. So I put in a smart shunt and the smart shunt comes off your negative of your batteries and runs to your bus bar uh, on this side. So it tells all your draw. That's just the fan turning on from the charger as it charges. But your smart shunt is what's telling me how many percent my battery is and what my output load is if my fridge turns on. This is a 100 amp. DC breaker and it runs out to my DC to DC charger but then the wire positive runs all the way up to my battery inside the ProMaster and it will 
decide when my battery at the front is charged and when to help out charging at the back end. My DC water heater. And this is just a household two and a half gallon water heater that I've purchased a DC heating element for. There'll be a switch inside the cabinet to turn on so it, you know, it'll only be running part time and mostly just when there's uh, solar available. I have a full shut off switch here for shutting the batteries completely off. And here's one of my DC panels. This one runs uh, my overhead lights for inside, as well as my refrigerator and my blower for the toilet. And it's all looked after by a DC 40 amp breaker. I also have another front. DC panel. It's underneath my floor just behind my driver's seat. There'll be access to it from a compartment for storage pretty much right in the middle here. So both of my DC panels I've gone back up and used. This was actually where the divider, the original divider for the cargo van would have been put in. So I just uh, used one of the one of the bolts for it and I grounded my panel from Got a really nice ground about in the middle of the van one of the major struts that goes through uh, that's already a threaded hole there's one on both sides this is on the other side where the door is I had a look up front where the battery compartment and so on is and I, it just didn't seem like um, <laughs> They were any different or definitely not any better and it was fairly full up there and I thought a short run from my bus bar here just up to the middle there um, was going to be a much better everything else is grounded to the chassis anyway and uh, as soon as I cleaned that up and put that on there uh, everything turned on everything seems to be pretty good I talked to my solar guy and he says that's a great spot for it that's pretty much what I have so far. Like I say, I put every label each of the breakers. That's my solar system uh, with a 40 amp. My panel's there. My DC to DC is labeled there. And I will be putting my Cervex in once I put my cabinets and in insulation. I'm putting my Cervex mount on there, wiring it to the smart shunt. And then I have a cabinet going in where all those wires are hanging. We have a cabinet going from the countertop to the ceiling, and uh, I'll be putting my touch screen on there. So that's it so far for the solar. This is part two. Um, when I get it all finished up here, once my interior is done, I'll be doing a short part three and run through the system and um, show you kind of how, how everything works once it's running. Uh, if you like the videos, you want to subscribe, That'll be great. There'll be a few more coming while I go through and install the interior paneling, get some paint in and some cosmetic stuff, and, and uh, get my lights and the rest of my electrical and plumbing done. All right, thanks.